I can try to use this. It's got a digital meter which tells us the CSF pressure. This patient is in the lateral, left lateral recumbent position, and the touch and the feel of the mannequin is almost like that of a normal human. Mm -hmm. this, this thing. So this is the spinal insert. You don't have to see what is inside, and inside that there is this tube which contains the CSF, so-called CSF. Okay. So this is the actual spinal lumbar puncture needle. It's called the Tuhi needle. T U O H Y. So this has got a hollow with a stillet inside. And we have to put it with the stillet. Once we have punctured the dura and the arachnoid, then you're supposed to remove the stillet and watch for the CSF dripping out. We are not supposed to touch this area because it's supposed to be sterile. So we are supposed to do the job with the holding the hub of the needle. And once we have done the procedure, again put back the stillet and then take out the, okay. So this is the iliac crest. Highest point of the iliac crest, highest point of the iliac crest. <coughs> they made it very real lifelike. So when you join the two points, then this is the supracrystal plane. And when you feel, all of you, you will feel that there is a spinous process here. So that happens to be the L4 spinous process. So therefore, just below that, the space that I'm, where my finger is dipping in, that is the L4, L5 space. And just above that, the, where my finger is dipping in, is the L3, L4 space. So you can do either L3, L4 or L4, L5. And the one space above that, there is yet one more space, that is L2, L3. I'll demonstrate in several spaces for you. Okay, now the procedure. Patient is in the lateral, left lateral decubitus, decubitus position. The needle, of course, we have assumed that we have already painted it with iodine, povidone iodine, alcohol. We have put a drape with a central hole. We have put on gloves and we have infiltrated local anesthesia. So these steps have been taken care of, let's assume. We are not supposed to hold this, touch this area with our hand. So this is how I'm going to be holding. And feel the spaces. We have already felt it. This is the space which I'm going to go through first. The plane of the needle should be exactly parallel to the ground surface. Absolutely parallel. And the direction should be slightly like this. What does like this look like? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because from there you can't see. This plane is parallel to this plane. But it should not be exactly at right angles. It should be angulated slightly like this. Right. That's what's, what I meant. What's the, is that a, the reason is because in actual human yeah. specimens, I'm telling you the right thing and the procedure, because here this is a mannequin. They have made a small defect in manufacture. In actual humans, you will direct it slightly towards the umbilicus. Okay. Yeah. But in this case, I have seen that the umbilicus does not work because they have put the position of the openings in the vertebral canal a little obliquely. That's why I said it's a manufacturing defect. That's why you have to go a little in the opposite direction. Not like this, but like this. You get what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I Otherwise, the actual precision of the human being is when you're going in, you're supposed to aim towards the umbilicus. But here we'll go slightly in the opposite direction. And you'll get the feel exactly. You'll go through the skin, the subcutaneous tissue, the supraspinous ligament, the interspinous ligament, the ligamentum flavor, the extradural space where you get the dirty tab. Here you, there is an extradural space, but there's no blood. So you don't get the dirty tab. And after that, you'll get the combined dura and the arachnoid. And you will actually feel the pop when you go through it, and you'll see it also when I go through it. All of you will be able to see it, and you'll be able to hear it also. And that is exactly the feel you'll get. <laughs> That's exactly the feel you'll get in a real life situation. And the moment you get the pop, when you feel it and you hear it, you stop immediately, don't proceed even one more millimeter. Because if you proceed further, you'll hit the opposite side. Once you feel the pop, then remove the stilet, and you'll watch for the CS dripping out. Now, there are a few caveats on the process, during the process. One, we might hit bone. And as I'm doing, you might see that I might hit bone. Because the spaces between the spinous process are very narrow. There's a reason why we flex the spine. Here, we can't flex the spine. So you might hit bone. If you hit bone, don't try to manipulate. There's no way you can get past that bone. What do you do? Pull it out completely. And reinsert again. Start afresh. That is the procedure to be done. So here also, if I hit bone, I'll do that. Next thing, once you have gone and gone into the dural space, subdural space, and you felt the pop, I removed the stilet. Sometimes CSF may not come out. It actually happens. There may be a filament of tissue or something, or lig some some uh, ligament or something is blocking the space, like those fimbria which are present inside the CSF space. <coughs> what do we do? There are three things we can do. 
two here, three in the patient. One is just rotate the needle in its long axis like this. You might find the CSA will start coming out. That is one procedure. The other procedure is take the syringe, attach it here, and aspirate a little bit. That will remove the block and the CSA will start coming out. And the third procedure which you can do here, but which I said you can do in the patient is ask him to cough gently. The moment he coughs, the intraspinal pressure increases and the CSF starts coming out. So these are the three things that we can do, and two of them we will do here if we do not get the CSF in the first try. Okay, so supraspinous, I can feel the spinous process here. So this is the L4, L5 space. Exactly in the midline. <laughs> Anesthesia has been given. <laughs> so going through the skin, subcutaneous tissue, supraspinous, interspinous, ligamentum flavum, pop. Oh, I didn't hear it. You saw it? No. You felt it? You heard it. Didn't hear it. Now. The five people in his heads are right there. <laughs> so this is the L4, L5 space. <laughs> Now, here we don't have that extra instrument. They didn't give it with, a, with this, this whole set. There will be a 3A stop cock with a manometer like this. So with a 3A stop cock, you can connect it here, and you can record the pressure in millimeters of water. So the 3A stop